welcome back guys to another Unreal Engine 4 tutorial and in the following few days I am going to post videos where we are going to create all of our systems uh, replicated uh, as in so that we would be able to play this game with our friends uh, because as you can see I picked up all the items but the client side still doesn't see that I have picked them up also I am building and the client doesn't see what I'm building and uh, as well if I dress my character up the client still doesn't see that I have put it close on and it doesn't see the animation of me attacking so let's begin to open multiple game screens what I did was here next to the play we have this drop down menu and I just scrolled this number of players to 2 and I was playing in a new editor window which creates two screens and also if I stop the game I'm getting this error for my HUD system so let's begin by fixing this I'm gonna go to my third person character and inside of here I'm gonna open up the user interface um, functions I'm gonna open the clear HUD function and I'm gonna copy everything starting from the create UI HUD widget. So I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna create a new function which is going to be create HUD HUD UI create HUD UI and I'm gonna paste this here and connect it like so there we go and the next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm going to delete all of this from the clear HUD event there we go and after we have removed all the widgets I'm going to create HUD UI like so compile and save now in our UI folder UI item info we need to here we where we have this equip item we need to copy these nodes of clear HUD and create inventory UI and add them at the end and connect target to the bottom cast to third person character because we are not casting this node so we are getting an error when we are using these nodes because these nodes use the other casting target go out and we no longer get this error so that's a fix now let's go to our items so that our items would disappear once uh, one of our characters have picked this up and in the inventory system I'm going to add a new blueprint interface which I'm gonna call remove object and I'm gonna rename the function to also remove object there we go so for now that's going to be it if you want to transfer some inputs you can do that but right now I don't need this maybe later and I'm gonna go to my pickups now and I'm gonna begin by editing pickup stone so I'm gonna open the class settings and here in the interfaces I'm going to add a remove object interface like so the next thing what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna select the pickup stone self and I'm gonna make sure that this is replicate movement so that uh, our client would see and the server would see where the other player is like kicking the object in which location and also we need to check this replicates and now I will select my static mesh con component and since this is like a pre-made blueprint we don't really need for this one but I'm still going to do a repl uh, component replication and this is super important for the spawned pickup since we are changing the static mesh because if you will change the static mesh for this in game it will not replicate unless you have this component replicates checked also a very key factor to this uh, replicate movement if you have created let's say like a regular blueprint actor 
This will not replicate the move, uh, movement correctly. It will glitch out sometimes. So let's say for the client, it will be like on that side and then the server, the item will be on that side perhaps. So make sure that you have these as static mesh actors rather than just regular actors like I have here. Oh, this is very, very important. And now I'm going to right click and I will add my interface, which was remove object, event, remove object. There we go. And over here, what I'm going to do is I will disconnect my destroy actor and I'm going to connect this over here. And I will do a cast to third person character once we have picked up our item. Uh, this one does not uh, work, uh, kind of, because this casts to the character which picked up the item. And for this one, as an object, we need to get character, get player character. And the ID must be zero, since the zero ID player is going to be like the server player which will control everything and the replication replication basically works like everything needs to be done from the server's character in order for this to work on all the other characters so now i will go back to the third person character and somewhere in the free space let's say over here i'm gonna do a custom event and I'm going to call this server remove object. And from here, I'm going to do a remove object message. And we need an input over here. So I'm just going to drag the target in here. And now it says add pin to node and it connects directly. And by selecting this custom event, we also need to change the replicates to run on server like so. So I'm going to comment this server remove object. And now back in our pickup stone as this uh, third person character with player index zero as this player, we are going to server remove object. And for the this target, the top target is the one which launches this um, function. And this target needs to be self as in this pickup stone. There we go. So now we compile and save. Press play. And now if we pick up our objects, they disappear on both screens. Well, at least the stones does. So now what we need to do is we need to do the same thing for all of our pickups. So that's what I'm going to do now. add a remove object interface, compile, remove object event, which destroys the actor. And from the event pickup item, we are casting to third person character. Object is get player character. And we are remove object server remove object and the target is self like so and the last one spawn pickup here we have something a little bit differently so again we are adding a remove object interface for the spawn pickup self we are replicating movement and replicating itself and for the static mesh component we are definitely replicating component and I'm gonna delete this destroy actor and I will just copy this like so and the difference here is from the other items that we are deleting this begin play event and we are creating a custom event and I'm going to call this build item data like so. And now back in the third person character where we are actually building this, let me build something. 
over here. Here where we have this spawn actor spawned pickup. I'm gonna drag from the return value and I'm going to do a build item data. Like so. So right now the build mode is not replicated yet. The inventory item pickup system is replicated. If we pick up our items, we can see that they disappear in both screens on the server side and on the client side. And in the next video, we are going to continue with replicating our build mode so that we would see what the other player is actually building. Because as you can see, as of right now, the other player just doesn't see this. See you guys in the next video.